Welcome back, any lovers. Today we're checking out Demons and Mirrors. You're gonna grab yourself a plate. I am gonna be very intrigued by this game. I've never played one of its tile, or I, I don't even know how to probably the match three, the crystal type of games. I don't. I don't remember. I, I for the reason coming into this video, I had a good idea what the game was called, and for some reason I'm drawing a massive blank. So if you do remember what the game's called, let me know in the comments. But for the time being, I'm going to hop in here and check out the game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, please check the links down below. And let's get rolling here. We have Draga. Who is a dragon? Oh, dragon? Dragon. I'm down. Let's go, dragon. Let's go. We're going to bop this down because that music just went crazy. Wonderful crazy, but still kind of crazy. All right. So we have Oracle Pendant, Trinket, gain one insight each turn. What does the insight do? Insight is reduced the cost. By the way, developers, this is phenomenal. Please Every single time that you do something in a game or every time you have a situation like this, please have pop-ups. This is awesome. I love when people have pop-ups like this. Let's see. Reduce the cost of the next tile chain by one. Remove one stack of insight when a tile chain is complete. Tile chain is a set of tiles that were linked on the board. Okay. Each time a tile chain is complete to reduce the... I'm guessing that's a mana cost of a random card in hand by one until it's played. Okay, cool. Modifier is locked. I really can't do anything else because this is my first run. So I'm guessing this. Ooh, this is pretty. All right. I always tell everyone else as well with the maps already open. <laughs> it's yellow yummy. Um, I always say try to have a key of some sort. It's always so nice to have just a key here. So I already know. I already know this is going to be. Oh, wait, maybe they have a hover. Now I already know this is going to be an enemy. Like this is going to be a ball, uh, fight, right? But what's this? You know, is that an event? Or is this an event? This is an event. So what's this? And then, you know, I, I just, this is an elite, which is cool because it's a crown on, the, on a skull and that's a campfire, but it just, it helps, especially when, if this is the first thing that they're jumping into, this is the first of the genre that people are jumping into, they'll have no idea what this is. I don't even know what this is. So I'm going to head to this one real fast because I want to see what this is. All right, what I got here, last stand, last stand, play cards to battle and defeat enemies. Cards cost action points to play as noted is the upper left corner of each card. When your turn ends, your cards will go into the discard pile. Your money or your mana will be replenished, and you'll draw next new cards. An enemy's intent is shown above its head. Their incoming attack damage can be mitigated with shield. Shield can be gained in several ways, such as playing the blockout card. A shield is removed at the beginning of your turn. Try playing some cards after closing this window. Press the end turn when you're out of mana and can no longer make the moves. There are many challenges ahead. You will fail. You will die. Keep trying. You will succeed. That's a really good statement at the end of that. I like that. Debuff player. The enemy intends to add a debuff to my the player. The intent will trigger after the other enemies take their turn. And you're going to attack me. So let's do apply three influence. The enemy will be defeated when their influence is greater than or equal to. Really? When this enemy's health falls below 30%, enemy tile with 20 potency will add it to the board. Target a tile and deal three tile damage to all tiles in that area. Wait. What is all this though? Oh, I'm just like trying to drag, but it's telling me to use mana and stuff like that. So let's gain some. Let's gain some. Channeling tiles is another way to battle enemies. Generally, uh, generally channeled tiles cost two, as the noted at the bottom of the board, but you'll discover a few ways to reduce the cost. Playing cards and channeling tiles both use a shared pool of mana. Click on a tile and drag into its neighboring tile of the same type. Continue dragging over more tiles to connect them to the chain. Three or more tiles are required to complete a chain. Chain to deal damage, chain to gain shield, chain to activate your special, chain to make certain cards more powerful. By default, any essence you collect decays by half a turn. Okay, so if I do... And obviously I can't go off there. Ooh. I'm gonna count you and the influence. And this charges my special, right? Not enough mana. Ding. Okay, so let's do some damage here. Good hit, good hit. Ow. 
What's my diva? I'm brittle. 25%. Okay. Then I have insight. Reduce the cost of your next tile chain by one. Which means it's one. Target a tile and deal three tile damage to all tiles of that type in the target area. Oh, okay. So I could do something like this. Right? And I'll just fly down. Now you do this. Ten damage. Bam. Let's block out. Actually, I should have done this because I would have gotten so much armor. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's super cool. He's going to intend to block, so I kind of want to attack him. Apply five influence. Done. Triggers an event when you have 10. The required amount of and potency of the event trigger. Event choice increase each time this trigger resets after battle. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Technically, I can clear these attacks and get ten. Technically. Trigger an event. The willpower activated. Uh, so I have three temporary inflate. Increase the length of tile chains by X for this turn. Heal X damage to all enemy tiles at the start of every turn. Reduce the cost of the next tile chain by one. Remove one. Let's draw one card and reduce by one. Oh, well, I, I can't do anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's see what I did. That's cool, though, with the vent. I like that. You're going to apply a debuff. <laughs> I have no mana left, so I can't do anything. Let's end our turn. I just want to see an influence uh, with victory here. Oh, go same thing. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was going to have some type of different animation. I don't know. Take the gold. Take the scroll. Just come up here. Let's pick a card. Gain two insight. I like that. Remember one insight when the tile chain is completed. I like that. Whenever you play a status card, gain three. Oh, that's a power, so that's going to stay on you the whole time. When you play a status card, all enemy fits with influence gain weak. I kind of like the insight. Let's keep the insight. It means I can do more damage and everything. All right, so we're heading over here. Add enemy tiles. This enemy intends to add one or more enemy tiles to the board. Oh, well. Y'all suck. All right, let's do that. And then what we want to do is... So there's no way of doing it. Oh, every single time we do a chain, I guess it... Gain one inside each turn. Each time a chain child is clued, reduce the cost of a random card by hand. Okay. Until it was played, too. Interesting. So, if I do this, they go in and they come back out of zero, right? Ooh. Next turn, enemy tiles. Enemy tile was added to the board. Enemy tiles can do one of several things, such as damage you, give you a debuff, shield an enemy, and more. An enemy's tiled intent is shown at the top next to its potency. The lifetime is the number at the bottom. In the example to the left, the enemy tile will deal 15 damage to you in three turns. Reduce the enemy tile potency by chaining it with other tiles and by playing cards that deal tile damage. Destroy an enemy tile by reducing its potency to zero. Okay. I don't know what that is. Add a buff and you intend to attack me. So we actually have... Event time. 
Gain two piece. Deal ice damage all. Ooh. And I get to strike somebody. I'm gonna strike you. <clears throat> and I got a great. A I got a great attack here. Ooh, that was sexy. And I get to strike you, and I get to add influence to you. That was a good time. do anything right now so I'm just gonna take the damage to the face I thought I had enough to be able to kill him ow there's a block outside I was zeroed at I love it I want to kill him by the board I think my influence does that oh I like that okay gold Random enemy again, torn scroll, and what we got here? Deal X damage equal to three damage per card in hand. Equal to three damage per card in hand. Okay, so this is literally three damage per card. And then deal five tile damage to all enemy tiles on the board. I like that. Apply four influence. Apply two more influence when the enemy is has full health. I'll take that one. I'm kind of like enjoying the influence. Okay, let's see what this. Oh, the rocks are apparently things too. Oh, you're a shop. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Gain two action points. Just from all X's of the board. Collect all from the board. Oh. Remove all influence and deal damage equal to two times the amount of influence removed. Forget. Removes the forgotten pile. Deal three damage to all enemy tiles at the start of every turn. Ooh. I feel like you gain X dexterity equal to every five health. Dexterity is modified as the amount of shield gained from cards. I feel like powers are going to be a thing I'm going to need to start doing. I'm going to do that because I feel like monsters are going to start modifying the deck. And it's going to get real tough. I'm going to go down the... You've been ambushed. An attack with imminent, and you only have the split second to react. How do you defend yourself? Good thing it wasn't actually a split second, because I was like, Arr. Start a battle with two times status cards, add to draw pile. Start the battle with minus one dexterity. Take a hit in your leg. Um, Unplayable. Unplayable. Alright, let's get some perceptive. Ooh, actually. Let's do that. Because I want to make sure that he's getting ready to add tiles to the board. Um, I would like to clear these. Reason being is trying to get myself, you know, trying to get myself all ready. Size. What does that do? Increase the power of the spawn enemy tiles. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, so I can do that. Okay, so I can do that. Cool. Alright, now if I complete one of these, I get a full...
Ooh, the next attack is gonna be nuts. Look at the next attack. Cool. I love the super size. That's awesome. Ooh, and they're getting ready to drop on me too. Yeah, I had to do that. So, the other 13 out of 19. So, I have to do 13 damage to kill him. And I want to chain that thing together, too. There we go. Can I get any greens? Yes, I can. There we go. Double apply the influences, and we're good. He's going to supersize himself, because they're annoying. Oh, no, he shrieked himself. Okay. That is fine. Do that. Okay, so this does this work now? Like this? It does. So it's kind of like a poison in a sense. Yeah, it's kind of like a poison in a sense. I like it. Remove all influence to deal damage equals two times the amount of influence removed. Prepared. Gain plus one action points next turn. Ooh, yeah. Be prepared. Oh, hello, troll. God, you are an ugly, ugly thing. We do this to influence them. Gain one straight at the beginning of the round for each enemy tile on the board. Oh, no, you're going to put that. You're going to attack and add it. Okay. Interesting. You're 21 influence already. That's, uh... Not horrible. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? I can attack. My block out, I still get two damage. So we're just fine. We're just fine. I, I'll take the two damage if I have to. But I want to figure out a way. Like a link and a bunch of things together. Ooh, I got it. Okay, if I clear this, this comes down a little bit and I can do zigzags. And now, I can block out, and I can still strike him. And that's fine, I take two damage. Oh, that's not annoying at all. Can I link that in, I think I can link that in my... Fourteen damage. D, 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 D. I can do that. That would at least be 12. I can clear these. And make a pretty dang big attack as well. If I play this, this still counts. And I, that means they get one of these for free.
That's a good hit. That was a good hit. Very good hit. I like it. I like it. And, I mean, I would have liked the repel better, but we'll take it. We'll take it. That's good. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he's going to add another little butthead piece to me. Okay, whatever. And he's going to attack me for two. Okay, that's fine. Do three miniature all enemy tiles at the start of every turn. I love that. I'd like to use that, but the problem is... The problem is I have to probably use something different here. You know what? Let's do... Hmm, let's do this first. See what I get blessed with here. Increase the length of tile chains by X for this turn. Deal X damage at the all enemy at the start of every turn. Or reduce the cost of the next tile. Let's do what's this one. Boom. There we go. Alright, so I did get a strike. Which is beautiful. Good strike. Nice hit. Gorgeous. Love it. Um, my big question here is I do have two insights. I have two numbers to use here, okay? So what I can do is. I'd like to take no damage if I can. You know? I do like the diplomacy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I like to do the diplomacy. I do. But. I'd like to figure out ways to make sure that I'm coming out ahead. Oh, that's right. I don't have enough for this. Okay, so I had to play one of these. I thought I was going to have enough. Oh, I didn't take the insight. That's what it was. Okay, let's do that. Just take the eight, eight to the face. All right. So, perception's definitely going to be a thing. I think a double clear would be really good. Okay, reception. And now I play the board because I get everything else for free. Let's clear these for a valuable reason. Beautiful. That's game. What is this? A runic blade trinket. Whenever you chain exactly six tiles in a horizontal line, deal five damage to all enemies. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to reject it. <laughs> it's like, do you want to reject this? A free thing in case it ever happens. Getting one mana every third time an enemy tile is destroyed. That's great, actually. Um, remove all tiles and apply influence equal to the number of tiles removed. Ooh. Um, transfer four random tiles into the crystal. Let's go with that. That's not bad. That could be like a big drop in, you know? Ew. What in ugliness are you guys? Okay, we could do this. I definitely will play Repel first, or at least once. Okay, you're doing 6 damage, and you're in buff. So let's do this. Gives me an Intimidate. Because I'm going to influence somebody here. Beautiful. I might just Repel and Strike, honestly. I have enough armor to protect myself. Hit, hit exactly who I wanted. And he's in danger now. Oh, he's going to be one of those people. Okay, when you lock... You chain exactly six in a horizontal. You have five damage to all enemies. I'm not gonna get that, but let's one, two, three, four. Okay, so no none of that yet.
Ooh, okay. Gonna want to get rid of this guy. I'm gonna take eight damage. Or six damage, sorry, six damage. Twenty five. Love it. Twelve is good. That's free. I say I, I kind of want to chain this together with something here. I'm not going to get a chance to, am I? Nope. Um, I would say put that on you. I didn't want to use it. I didn't have to use it. I don't know why I used it. Okay, so if I clear these... I have enough insight right now, so I'm just gonna hold on to it for a second. These count the same, so it just counts more towards linking those two together. <laughs> right now. No, let's do that. That's why I did that. Now you're dead. And we'll do no, we won't do that because I can do this first and then I can do this. Don't do that. There we go. Oh god, I could have greened it up. Look at that. Look at all the green. Oh, I think I gotta do all green here. I think I have to. Look at it. It's nuts how much green I have right now. God, I wish I had something that did. Oh, if you have a thousand green, you know what I mean? Like, dang. Um, let's see. Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? You're going to attack for six. I'm going to influence you right at the bat. I'd like to not take this hit. I got two insight, so. Beautiful. The repel's beautiful. Clear that. And then we get diplomacy for free. There we go.
Boom. Done. I feel like you can build yourself like an influence deck too. Upon pickup, two random cards will be upgraded. Deal. You happen upon a chest in an alcove surrounded by two stone gargoyles. One presents, or one presents an open mouth with dreaded fangs, while the other holds an open bag in its hands. Their eyes light up, and each though, even though the mouths do not move, you hear a crisp, chalk-like voice emanate from the mind. A tribute for our most prized possessions. Let the feigned gargoyle drink from your arm. Lose eight, gain a random trinket. Donate 50 bucks to the gargoyle in the bag, gain a random trinket. Force open the chest, gain a random trinket, and attempt debuff. Oh no, I can't do that. As soon as they pay as soon as you pay, both gargoyles melt into thin air. Take my reward. What am I getting? Chesty chesty. After receiving unlocked damage ten times, gain immunity to the next attack. That's phenomenal. God, I went to, I really went down the death hole, didn't I? Jeez. Hi, buddy. The intent is summon one or more allies. That's okay. Seven damage. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so let's go with... Let's go with Perception. It's going to start that up. Let's go ahead and clear these. Because I want to crystal it up right now. I'm going to get my upgrades going right off the bat. And we'll keep that like that. <laughs> oh, the little buddy. Are you just going to summon help the whole freaking time? Is that what this is going to be? It is, isn't it? It's going to be a party. It's going to be a party for you. Not for me. Okay, so let's do this. Twelve is nice. Per worked out perfectly. Love it. Love it. I still have one innate. Innate. So, if I do this, hopefully, ooh, not the one I wanted, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, you're in attack now. Okay, well. I don't like that. I wish I had my things that I got the extra damage for right now. If I do this, I get the crystals right away. But I feel like that's a waste of the insight. We'll block. We'll block. Yeah, we'll do it. Screw it. And that covers all my things now. Um, I can still crystal it though, too. That upgrades my tiles now. I do a ton of damage now. <laughs> Vengeance becomes angry when another imp is killed and will do a powerful attack in the next turn. Oh, so if I keep him alive, technically, technically I'm okay.
I gotta start. I have to start eliminating him. I have to. If I don't, then I will be screwed. Hardcore. One, two, three, four, five. So close. So close. What I could do... I could relink these three right here. I just hope that I get enough for him. One, one of these two will work. If I get zero on either of these two, he kills the imp. Uh, but I got the block, of course, because why would things ever work out the way they're supposed to? Okay, you're going to start doing a powerful attack. Or if that's the attack you're going to do. Gotcha. Beautiful. It's 15 damage. That's not fun. Okay, let's... Gonna put that on there. I can kill him. Yeah, I can kill him with a strike. So he's dead. is free now. I like it. Um, hmm. Do that. Now this is free. He dies. I'll clear that so I got a big attack next round. This is a big attack. Alright. Let's figure this one out here. Yeah, that's a pretty big attack, I'm not gonna lie. Um You didn't tell me how big it was gonna be. Gosh. You gotta warn somebody. If I use this, it's two. The only thing is I could probably get a chance to be able to do all this too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'd be ten, that'd be up to fourteen. So I'd block that. And I just have to hope that I get this right. Oh, got it. Wait, 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 wait. Whatever. Taking damage. I didn't think that out because I guess I was going for the attack too, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that. I was wrong. Kill him. Just, just instantly. I'm not even thinking about it. Just kill him. Okay, let's go for crystals. And then strike and roll.
That's one that I needed. That's not the other one I needed though. Set us up for the next. All right, gotta make this big. That's a big one right there. that because now repels free there we go that's what I was looking for I want to double check before I did it when using a scroll gain three oh I need life can you give me life? Deal three damage to a random enemy at the start of every turn. Oh, the trinket. Gain one at the start of battle. Carries the deal tile damage. Gain plus three tile damage. I love it. Increase the lifetime of all enemy tiles by one. Ooh. Deal 15 damage. Gain six shield at the last card played was a skill gain one insight. Self righteous. Ooh, that's what I want right there. See that? What can I do over here? Let's see. Two action points. I can only really take these, honestly. I think I get a regular battle coming up here. And whatever this thing is. All right. Yeah, I hear my heart beating right now. It's crazy. And you're going to add a piece to the puzzle. So, let's work on this, shall we? Do you have a clear? I'm going to clear greens. Get some new blood in here. That protects against him. I have one and eight left. Which means I can use this and use this at the same time. It's all about timing and pursuing and doing all that stuff. I could draw one card and get one insight and probably put together another thing, but I decided not to. Um. That's done. Um, let's see. You're gonna do seven damage, so I definitely need to get some armor in here. There's some armor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do that. So we're gonna that guy right there.
shield, and this is the enemy sense. Add one or more cards to your draw pile. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. need a block right now. Unplayable. Oh, I don't like that. That's not fun. This says do what dam one damage to him? Yeah, it's just one damage to him. That scroll actually saved my life. That's crazy. There we go. Gain one dexterity. Gain seven damage, deal seven damage plus one insight. I love that. Gain one willpower per enemy with influence at the start of each turn. What does willpower do though? Heal, 100%. I wish that you were at a campsite. And I wish that campsite just lets you heal all the way. You know what I mean? You're at a campsite. Come on. Right off the bat. Yeah, I blocked most of it. Sheltered. Enter defensive mode whenever an enemy tile is added to the board. In defensive mode, all damage taken is reduced to one. Exits defensive mode when there is no enemy tiles on the board. Shut up. Really? Interesting. Very interesting. So influence is going to be big on this character. Hasn't entered the, uh, hasn't entered it yet, so whatever. Okay, strike him. Get some influence on that, baby. Look at all the crystals. Holy crystals. Wow. I did not expect that. Those are the 16. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, 
start doing this here, huh? How about that? Okay. Well, at least we knocked out the immediate danger. When do you put repaired? Ah, uh, so junk could be linked, but no one else can be linked with that junk. Okay. big problem is though is this part that's the big problem because I have to link up oh yeah this is going to be tough if I destroy these I could potentially have Might as well do one damage. <laughs> Watch the difference. Oh, now you're getting strength. Awesome. Okay, so you're adding junk tiles again to the, uh, to the tiles. Okay. Alright, so let's clear the attacks. Let's see if I can't link this with... Because the attacks aren't doing anything right now. Amazing. You're going to destroy one or more tiles on the board. I love it. I want the dirt is going to be able to be usable. Like, can I, can I, can I target the dirt? Oh, so they just destroy them. Okay. So you just destroy them. I mean, that's okay. I'm okay with destroying something like that. That's fine. You know, 15 damage. I'm glad I kept that as a zero. You can destroy... Okay, so you can destroy dirt. Which is cool. I'll tell you one thing I did not I'm probably not gonna end up using I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the we're probably gonna blink up somehow here but I'm definitely taking damage here might as well Have, like spikes or something like that, you know? Gonna add a buff to itself. Okay. Okay. Look at the gr look at all the freaking green, dude. I am so freaking close to beating this guy.
Super size? Oh, that sucks balls. Okay, so I can at least block. I can at least block. I wish I had something right here that said... Damn. I wish I had something that right here that I could just draw from, you know what I mean? Okay, definitely pull this. <laughs> That's fine. That's my block. That survives. This gets me an upgrade. Oh, okay. Now I figured out how to do this. <laughs> now I figured out how to do this. Wait, beckon. Okay, so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 on the board, right? If I did this, that goes to 13, 15. No, I don't have enough. I don't have enough mana. Damn, so close. So close. Okay, so I definitely take it as a block. And then hope some one of these holds up. I mean, I don't want the back in. Oh, the back in's so nice right now. Yeah, it prevents his damage. There we go. There goes the damage. And I saw two insights. That's a huge attack too. Hopefully he doesn't go circle mode. Okay, no, no. This is the this is the time I have to beat him. I have to beat him this time. Yeah, I have to beat him right now. Perfect. Like, on the point. On the point. Oh. Next three chains are free this turn. Ooh. Get a copy of a card in your hand for this battle. Increase the length of tile chains by two. Just like, just because you have it. Gain one for each, each turn. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile at the start of each turn. Gain plus one each turn. Minimum required chain length is increased by three times. Oh, Jesus, no. Gain one each turn. Enemies start combat with two strength. No. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the demons of mirror demo. Please wish this demons mirror ended. Oh, of course I will. Yeah, of course. This is phenomenal. This is a great little this is a great little game. Great little game. I, I did not I did not when I saw this, I was like, there's no way they're mixing these two, but Solid. Very solid. Very impressive. I'm I am color me impressed. Really. Seriously. I am very impressed with how they mix together the bejeweled aspect. That was the game. That was the game. Bejeweled aspect with the card aspect. That was really impressive. Bravo, guys. Excellent job. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet, where we help you find your next favorite Mindy. Peace.